thought a scientist's evidence is thought to be reliable because it will have been tested and verified at every stage. This is not, of course, infallible, as scientists are subject to human error as much as the rest of us. A scientist's evidence is thought to be reliable because it will have been tested and verified at every stage. This is not, of course, infallible, as scientists are subject to human error as much as the rest of us. The most obvious change is that 46% of college undergraduates are now women. The most obvious change is that 46% of college's undergraduates are now women. When I went there, it was only the third year that women had been admitted, and about 70% of students were male. <coughs> the most obvious change is that 46% of college college's undergraduates are now women. In, when I went there, it was only the third year that women had been admitted, and about 70% of students were male. As we progress into as we progress into 21st century, communications are becoming faster and faster. Think of millions of different media images of you. You are bombarded with every day. You are bombarded with every day. It is. It is as important now to be able to read and make sense of those images as it has been to be able to read ordinary text, as it, uh, at, as it has been to be able to, to read. <coughs> as we progress into the 21st century, communication are becoming faster and faster. Think of millions of different media images you are bombarded with every day. It is uh, as important now to be able to read and make sense of those images as it has been to be able to read ordinary text. In the past, war have led to inflation and, and the high commodity price. Fighting disrupts trade and prevents raw, raw materials, materials from being shipped from one country to another. In the Second World War, Britain Abandoned was the height of luxury. The height. In the past, war have led to inflation and high commodity price. Fact disrupt trades and prevents raw materials from being shipped from one country to another. In the Second World War, Britain abandoned was the height of luxury. Globalization refers to a set of changes rather than a single change. Many of these changes are social, cultural, and political rather than purely economic. And one of the main drivers in addition to the global marketplace is the communication, communications revolutions. Revolution. Communications revolution. <coughs> Globalization refers to a set of changes rather than a single change. Globalization refers to a set of changes rather than a single change. Many of these changes are social, cultural, and political rather than purely economic. And one of the main drivers in addition to global marketplace is the communication revolution. An understanding of mathematics is vital for most science subjects. The understanding of mathematical is vital for most subjects. If we work on this together, we'll get through it quickly. If we work through together, we'll get through quickly. The new law professor used to work for the World Bank. A new professor used to work for the World Bank. Many environment experts are very concerned about the future of our planet. Many of the environment experts are concerned of the future of our planet.
The graph shows the percentage of people who smoke according to gender. The graph shows the percentage of people according to gender. The meeting is always on the third Wednesday of the month. The meeting is always on the third week of the month. We can go anywhere, do anything, you know, achieve any height. We can go anywhere, do anything, and achieve any height. Construction of the Empire State Building in New York was completed in 1931. The construction of the Empire State Building in New York was completed in 1931. People under 70 have a higher quality of life than those over 70. People under 70 has the high quality of life of the people over 70. The area of Canada is more than 3.8 million square miles. The area of Canada is more than 3.8 square miles. <laughs> this line graph represents the road traffic in Great Britain from 1952 to 2005, including two categories such as all motor vehicles and car and taxis. This line graph represents the road traffic in Great Britain from 1952 to 2005. From an overall perspective, I can see two categories such as all motor vehicles and car and taxis. Also, I can see that the, those numbers increased from 1952 to 2005. In conclusion, this line graph provides crucial information about the road traffic in Great Britain, strongly supported by facts and the figures, having a great impact on billion vehicle kilometers in all motor vehicles and car and the taxis. Also, I can see 300, 500, and 100. This line graph represents the Economic and Social Research Council. This line graph represents the UK unemployment rate from 1971 to 2006. This line graph represents the UK unemployment rate from 1971 to 2006. From an overall perspective, I can see clear that it starts from 4% and increases to almost 12%. After that, it decreases to almost 6%. Also, I can see that this number is in percentage and the highest figure is 14% and the lowest figure is 0%. Also, I can see that this number increases in 1987 and 1985. In conclusion, this line graph provides crucial information about unemployment rates in UK and strongly supported by facts and figures. This bar graph represents the sales by quarter in three different products, product Z, product Y, product Y, and product X. Fifteen thousand. This bar graph represents the sales by quarter in three different products: product Z, product Y, and the product X. Also, I can see this is from the year two thousand five. From an overall perspective, I can see clear that the lowest figures in product X in quarter four, and the highest figures in is product Z in the quarter in the quarter second. In conclusion, this bar graph provides crucial information about sales by, by quarter in the year 2004, strongly supported by facts and figures, having a great impact on categories such as first quarter, value, third quarter, 15,000, and 9,000.
This bar graph represents the sales by quarter in three different products, product Z, product Y, and the product X. Also, I can see this is from the year 2005. From an overall perspective, I can see clear that the lowest figures in product X in quarter four, and the highest figures in this product Z in the, quarter, in the quarter second. In conclusion, this bar graph provides crucial information about sales by, by quarter in the year 2004, strongly supported by facts and figures, having a great impact on categories such as first quarter, value, third quarter, 15,009. This, <laughs> this graph represents the life expectancy, expectancy the life expectancy at birth in Australia between male and female from 995 to 2005. <laughs> this line graph represents the life expectancy at birth in Australia from 995 to 2005. Also, I can see that this is between male and female, and there are different ages like 80. 75 and 85. Also, I can see that the number of females is increasing during the period and the number of females is higher than males. In conclusion, this bar graph, line graph represents the life expectancy at birth in Australia, strongly supported by facts and the figures, having a great impact on categories such as 997, 999, 2001, 2003, and 2005. This, this bar graph represents adult, adult literacy by region. <laughs> this bar graph represents the literacy rates by sex in the region. <laughs> this bar graph compares the literacy rates by six, sex in 2004 to 2005 in percentage, also includes some categories such as World, sub saharan Africa, Latin America and Caribbean, Asia and Arab states, also includes male and female. I can see clear that the highest figures is Latin America and Caribbean with almost 91, and the lowest figure is in sub saharan Africa with almost 53. In conclusion, this bar graph provides crucial information about adult literacy by region, strongly supported by facts and figures. <laughs> this graph represents the economic condition in the Philippines from 2000 to 2004, including consumer price index and GDP. This graph represents the economic condition in the Philippines from 2000 to 2004, also includes the consumer price index and GDP. I can see clear that the consumer price index starts from 100 and increased to 120. In contrast, the number of GDP increased from 100 and to 140. In conclusion, this graph provides crucial information about the economic condition in the Philippines strongly supported by facts and the figures, having a great impact on categories such as 160, 120, 80, 2004. Take the coffee industry. The figures are roughly these. The coffee market in the world is worth about 60 billion. The growers get about 5.5 billion. Ten years ago, the market was about 30 billion, and the growers got a third of that. What has happened? What has happened is that well-meaning people, Americans, Germans, Europeans, decided that they would help Vietnam. And so, they created a coffee industry there, which is now the second biggest producer in the world. This has had serious effects on other countries like Colombia that depend on coffee exports.
The lecture was about the coffee industry around the world. The speaker in the beginning was mentioned that this market is also 60 billion. She also mentioned that 5.5 billion. Furthermore, she mentioned that the growth is the third in the America. Also, she mentioned that America helped Vietnam to increase the production of coffee. They and that have serious impact on Colombia that depends entirely on coffee. In conclusion, this lecture was about the coffee industry, strongly supported by facts and the figures, having a great impact on categories such as 60 billion. You can see that the two charts each give quite a different picture of the performance of boys and girls in the two key subjects of maths and English. It shows that in English, girls consistently outperform boys over a period of six years, achieving scores about 10% uh, above their male peers. There is quite a different picture when we look at the maths results with no real difference between genders in the results. What is the explanation for these key differences? Uh, to answer this question, researchers look at biological and cognitive factors and a range of social factors. The interaction between these different components in early childhood development are seen as maintained and reinforced in the school context, and this leads to distinct gender patterns of behaviour in skills with direct consequences for school performance and achievement. The argument uses this evidence to show that biological factors, such as patterns of cognitive development, are closely linked to social factors, such as learned gender categories. These cognitive skills are learned both preschool and subsequently at school, supported by the responses of teachers, creating a reinforcement of patterns. The lecture was about the performance of boys and girls at school. In the beginning, the speaker was discussing that the English boys perform better than girls. Furthermore, he mentioned that the math results, there is no difference. Also, she mentioned that the biological factors that interfere. Furthermore, he mentioned that the early childhood development is essential. Also, he mentioned that the cognitive skills in preschool Furthermore, he mentioned about the role of teacher to improve this skill. In conclusion, the lecture was about the performance of boys and girls at school, strongly supported by... <coughs> In our survey, over 100 CEOs who had recently been through an acquisition or merger were asked which areas of their activities needed the most effort. Uh, as you can see, the most frequent response to this question was that information technology requires the most integration effort. According to 58% of those we surveyed, IT was the most time-consuming and needed the most work. This is understandable as many of the IT issues are extremely complex and the consequences of any change in IT can have a significant impact. The key is how quickly and effectively IT integration can be achieved. And there has to be a clear understanding of the consequences there may be of not getting it right. The two other areas requiring significant attention, sales, marketing and business development on the one hand, and financial management on the other, both were selected by 49% of the respondents. The lecture was about a survey that was asked to CEOs of the companies. In the beginning, the speaker was discussing that uh, most CEOs answered that need more investment in IT, that we, there are same complex issues. He also mentioned that the impact of IT is very high in all corporations. He also mentioned that the consequence that not applying this right IT is very big. Furthermore, he mentioned that there are some 
other areas like sales and financial that accounts for 49%. In conclusion, the lecture was about survey. Which country has the third largest population in the UK? Scotland. Camels are most likely to be found in what habitat? Desert. Desert. <laughs> On a compass, which direction is the direct opposite of southwest? Northeast. Northeast. What do most successful businesses aim to do? Make a profit, declare bankruptcy, or comply with audits? Make a profit. Make a profit. What is it called when the price of goods and services steadily increases over a period of time? Inflation. Inflation. What mistake has the student made when trying to access the site? Invalid password. Algebra, calculus and trigonometry are divisions of which academic field? Mathematics. Mathematics. What campus building would you go to if you wanted to borrow a book or magazine? Library. Library. Is a profit a loss in funds or a gain in funds? Gain in funds. What energy source does this light bulb need in order to function? Electricity. Electricity.
<clears throat> For the purposes of our course, the way that I think about it, I guess the way I want you to think about it, is generally just the conditions in which a species can survive and reproduce. And those conditions, or the niche, could be determined by water economy, which I'll talk about. That is, the ability of a species to regulate its body water. Its tolerance for temperatures. We saw the Arctic fox out there, frigid cold, and its tolerance for colder temperatures. Its body size, certainly its diet and its circadian and circannual rhythms, its daily behaviour activity, its seasonal activity, rhythm of timing, daily circadian and seasonal its habitat use, so how it uses the habitat available to it, and, of course, its behaviour. These are all factors that affect a species, how an animal can survive and reproduce.
The Mayans didn't enjoy their chocolate in the bar form we do now today. It would be over one and a half thousand years before that happened. Instead, they drank their chocolate. After grinding the cacao seeds into a paste, they would then mix it with water, chili peppers, cornmeal, and other ingredients into a thick, foamy, bitter concoction. Chocolate had a very special place in the Mayan society and was often used for ceremonial purposes. Mayan couples often drank chocolate at marriage ceremonies and it was offered to the gods. Although chocolate was enjoyed by most social classes in the Mayan society, the Aztecs weren't so lucky. Since most of the Aztec empire consisted of high, dry land, it was nearly impossible for the cacao tree to flourish. Because of this, the only way for Aztecs to come by chocolate would be to trade for it. The only members of Aztec society that could afford to consume the cacao beans were the merchants and the Aztec nobility. However, Aztec society was so obsessed with the product that they actually used it as money. People would actually carry around a pocket full of cacao seeds, much like we do pocket change. In fact, people went so far as to actually counterfeit cacao beans to use as money.
politicians talk all the time about democracy. Today we're going to learn about the moment of its invention. What sort of time are we talking about? Well, we can, in fact, name a specific year, 508 BC. It marked the end of the period of what was called tyranny or effectively dictatorship by strong families and the assertion of its will by the people. How did it happen? I think people have got pretty fed up with the dictators who've been rather too self-indulgent and not done a terribly good job in the later years. Um, But in a way, these dictatorships were an advance from earlier kingship in many states. So that was one step. But the next step was to spread the base of power uh, and introduce power by the people. And that's where we come to the word demos, democracy. Yes, indeed, the demos, the, the people. Um, it, it means the, the community as a whole. Uh, we have to be slightly careful, of course, how we define the community in political terms because it's hard to know how many people there were in Athens at that period. It, it was a fairly small-scale society. But it's normally reckoned that there was something of the order of 30,000 citizens. The past two years have brought more than their fair share of hurricanes, and this season's shaping up to be another big one. This comes after two decades of low hurricane activity. How do scientists know what the hurricane season will be like? Why should hurricane prediction be any more accurate than, let's say, your five-day forecast? Well, we'll try to find out this hour. We'll also talk about El Nino. You know El Nino. It may be coming back because strong El Nino conditions are developing in the tropical Pacific. Will that mean heavy rainfall and mudslides out west, and hot, perhaps, droughts in parts of Africa and South America? In many developed countries, the 1980s was a time when the switch from traditional heavy industries and manufacturing to services and information-based enterprise was completed. This led to widespread changes in employment patterns in these countries, as well as having profound social effects. In fact, it isn't going too far to say that there was a basic transformation in the whole culture, which can still be observed today.
So far, it's failed to address either. Uh, in relation to cost-benefit, it claims there will be a saving of the order of $3 billion over 10 years, but it refuses to release the assumptions on which that claim is based. So it simply expects Australians to take it on trust. What is classical physics? Let's start with the easiest, perhaps. What is physics? Physics is the study of the natural world. It's the study of the physical world, the world we live in. It's experimental science, and it's really the heart, the core of all other experimental sciences. Physics goes beyond just a simple description of nature. It's an attempt to unify a broad variety of phenomena that we observe in the world, both the natural world and the technological world. We're looking for the underlying principles, the explanation, the prediction. We would like to be able to really understand the world around us, measurable things in particular. Physics studies matter and energy, space and time, studies particles and waves, forces and motion. These are a lot of words that we, we use. We have deep in, intuitive sense uh, about what those words mean. And part of what we're going to be doing in this course is to start looking carefully at each of these words. What do I mean by energy? What do I mean by force? How would I define that in a laboratory and measure it? And what use is it? How does it help me to understand things about the world? Hey, Sally, how are you? you yeah, all right? I'm right, yeah. Look, I was wondering, did you uh, go to Alan Johnson's lecture on globalisation yesterday? Of course. And why weren't you there? Uh, I had a bit of a nightmare. My alarm didn't go off and I uh, overslept. Oh, John, that's pathetic. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, uh, was it any good, the lecture? 
Well, yeah. No, actually it was. It was quite interesting, but it was a bit complicated. I took some notes, actually. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, I I'm sorry to bother you. I wonder, could you direct me to Lecture Hall 2B, please? Yes, of course, but what lecture do you have? It's uh, Sociology, uh, Professor Travers. Travers. Yeah, we had him last year. He's fantastic. Oh, really? He has a tendency to sort of wander around the campus talking to himself, but oh. he's really, really inspirational. Uh. You know, he helped Giddens when he was asked to advise the government. Oh. Wish we had him this year. Well, uh, I, I, I don't know him. Uh, I've not been to any of his lectures so far. Y you see, I'm just taking sociology as an elective or, or subsidiary subject. Oh, so what are you studying for your major? Um, psychology. I could never fathom psychology. Oh. <laughs> I can hardly say it. <laughs> um, it always seemed like literature confusing itself a bit, but I, I don't know. Anyway, this is all very interesting, but you need to get to... Um, to, to B. To B. All the sociology lectures are in Block B, which mm. is next to the Union Building. So, if you go along here yes. and turn right at the end of the path, you'll see the Union Building in front of you. Right. Block B is on the right as you face the Union. Well, thank you so much. Okay. May maybe see you at one of the lectures. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good luck. The first step was just to see if we had any competitors. There was one company in New Zealand who had a similar idea, but they lacked the branding, I think, which is very important if you're going to be marketing a product properly. The next step was to research the injuries and ailments that surfers suffer whilst they're travelling. That was a pretty easy part, considering I'm a surfer myself, but it was, it was also a good idea to get some research and find out how much people were spending on first aid products, what was a popular product to take you with you, with you while overseas and how much would you be willing to pay for a kit like this? Scott actually spent a year researching and developing the kit and successfully applied for funding under the Government New Enterprise Incentive Scheme which supported him for that year. Now the products on the market offered through the Natural Footed website which Scott carefully designed along the same lines as the first aid kit. The kit had to look professional. It's a medical product but at the same time it had to have some style to it and that's, that's what we've tried to go, go with.
quite interesting to think about the glitazones where we assume because they reduce blood sugar that they would have beneficial effects on these long-term cardiovascular issues. But now we're finding that with rosy glitazone, they may actually be deleterious. And with pioglitazone, it may be a small benefit. And so the question you ask about the benefit to risk ratio is really the critical one today. Should we continue to use these drugs? And I think it's quite difficult with the small amount of information we have to come to a Is there a moment of panic? I guess that sort of ebbs and flows because if we get it wrong at any stage, it's pretty out there if you get it wrong. Their main suspect was a virus. Retroviruses are known to cause cancer. Yet no matter how hard they looked, no one could see any sign of viral attack. And they were baffling anomalies. Like, why aren't any devils showing immunity? We had 10 or 11 pathologists around a microscope with 10 or 11 different opinions about what we were actually dealing with. Yeah, I mean, we were... A professor is also a member of a profession, presumably one comparing people who see their discipline as a vocation in its full sense. A vocation, from vocale to call, is a call. Despite some modern uses which reduce it to the practicalities of employment, practice and not theory, the product of training, not education, a vocation is less than this. A calling is active as well as passive. It implies a sensation of purpose. There is a duty to be vocal. You know, the, the incredible thing about quantum mechanics, there are many incredible things, but one of them, at least to me, is that it really works. Mm. It is the theory of the universe. Mm. It describes what's going on here on Earth, that it describes what happens in the early universe that, uh, that Andre studies. And so when we think about how those building blocks that Leon was just describing fit together to mm. make the world around us, uh, we use quantum mechanics to describe atoms, nuclei, molecules, light. Uh, it is the theory of, of the world. And so it's not surprising that we see it in, in many everyday occurrences and many everyday applications. Um, an example might be the lasers that you see in, mm -hmm. in a compact disc player or the mm -hmm. uh, supermarket scanner. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Your role will principally involve development of new chemical processes. Bro is principally involved in the new chemical process. To gain full marks, an appropriate bibliography is required. To gain full marks and appropriate bibliography.
The integration of architecture studies with community projects is widely encouraged. The integration of archaeology study with community <laughs> project. 